आता बघ ना आवाज येत नाही हॅलो गौरवचे मॅडम युअर ऑडिबल my audible everyone very good morning am i audible yes sir uh good morning sir good morning sir very good morning sir we are yeah. starting the session yeah uh, please expect, uh, professor borok okay, madam to start the uh, proceeding okay sir good morning to all it's my pleasure to welcome everyone on behalf of department of commerce of tujaram chaturchand college of art science and commerce baramati for two day national webinar on research methodology for commerce management and social sciences 2022 I, Professor Shweta Madhukar, take this opportunity to welcome all the renowned speakers, delegates, and students who took their valuable time and joined us today to be a part of this webinar. We are honored to have you all with us. I am very happy to share that participants have joined across the country. More than 500 participants have joined across so far for this webinar. They are from Maharashtra. Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, Goa, Haryana, Karnataka, Kerala, Telangana, Tamil Nadu. We have got huge response for the webinar. I would like to thank each one of you for joining the webinar. As we know that research is important in all fields in our life. new problems events processes occurs every day practically implementable solutions and suggestions are required for tackling new problems that arise therefore researchers have to take research on them and find their causes solutions explanations and applications precisely research help us to understand the nature and natural phenomena and research methodology is a systematic way to solve a problem it is the study of method that will guide researchers for work plan of research hence we have organized this national webinar which will resolve the practical hurdles faced by the researchers during the research project it will address the full aspects of research i request respected dr janathan pawar sir co conveyor and head department of commerce to give his introductory speech uh, thank you uh, thank you okay, madam i hope i am audible uh, yes sir good morning everyone this is dr janathan pawar head department of commerce respected principal dr chandrashekar murunkar sir today's resource person for the first guest dr sunjay kaptan sir my dear colleagues and my dear participants it gives me immense pleasure to welcoming all of you 
for the two days national webinar on research methodology in commerce management and social sciences. First of all, I welcome Dr. Chandrasekhar Murumkar sir, Principal Tasty College Baramati. Actually, Dr. Murumkar sir is a source of inspiration for all of us. He always motivates us for contributing new knowledge in the field of commerce as well as in the field of academics. I also welcome Dr. Sanjay Kaptan sir, Professor, Saukar Chair, and former head Department of Commerce, Savitri Bai Pune University, Pune. Similarly, I welcome all the participants from different corners of the country. And last but not least, I also welcome my fellow colleagues to the two-day national webinar on research methodology in commerce, management, and social sciences. Friends, we at Department of Commerce, Trojaram Chaturthan College of Arts, Science, and Commerce, Baramati, which is an autonomous college, have organized two-day national webinar on research methodology in commerce and management and social sciences. The main objective behind organizing this two days national webinar is to provide a platform to the stakeholders from the field of research and research related activities. Friends, as there are so many questions in the mind of researchers, especially in the minds of new researchers at the time of undertaking any research study in social sciences as a researcher, we all have to answer all those questions by adopting an appropriate research methodology. Actually, this is an attempt to provide answers to all those questions which are there in the mind of new researchers. This particular two days national webinar is going to emphasize on several dimensions or different aspects of research and research related activities, such as how to select an appropriate topic for research, how to go for literature review, how to find out a research gap, how to develop research objectives and research hypotheses. Even this particular research webinar will talk about different methods of data collection and different tools and techniques of data collection and data analysis. Friends, I would like to assure you that you will get answer to all your questions in this particular span of two days in uh, this particular two days and uh, no doubt you will be benefited through this particular research uh, webinar which is on research methodology in commerce management and social sciences even i request all the participants to be more attentive and interactive during the all the sessions and ask your doubts in the form of questions at the end of every session i hope you will be definitely or you will definitely enjoy this online journey of research i wish you all the best for your all the sessions thank you very much and over to borok madam thank you for your thoughtful words sir i request honorable dr chandrashekhar murumkar sir principal and convener to give his principal address Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. I feel that I am audible. Yes, sir. You are audible. Yes, sir. Yes. First of all, I must congratulate the Department of Commerce for interacting, Captain uh, Sir, back to TC College because Captain uh, Sir's uh, initiative and motivation. in the not only department of commerce of tc college baramati but also in the college itself so welcome you sir thank you it's so my nice. pleasure to thank be you with you again so nice uh, thank you dear friends it's my pleasure that the department of commerce has organized a two day national webinar on research methodology in the areas associated with the commerce obviously commerce and management studies they have formed a backbone of today's modern world i congratulate dr zeke pawar for choosing this rightly uh, topic of interest and also his colleagues who have taken pains to bring this uh, dream come true I'm very much happy, and I appreciate 
the contribution of Dr. Sanjay Kaptan sir, not only in motivating, encouraging, and giving the flagship hold to Savitri Bhai Pule Pune University through his contribution, the Department of Commerce, and so many other LIC activities and finance department. As uh, I again congratulate uh, Dr. J.K. Pawa sir for choosing the very right person for this activity. Dear friends, today's world is obviously a techno savvy world and we are seeing the expression and exhibition of several applications and knowledge know-hows in this modern world. But dear friends, let me tell you one thing that as it has been rightly said, the 21st century is the age of or era of socio-economic flagship. This is the area almost each and every uh, aspect of research application, its orientation is scheduled and applied with. Obviously, the research methodology in commerce, dear friends, let me take friends in the India and particularly the science subject and the commerce subjects which are taught in India, we are in still stone ages, dear friends. The research work which is going on abroad in many other areas, they are looking not only to the subject and conceptual implementation of this in the socio-economic aspects, but again, they are critically analyzing the data which they are generating through their original research. Being a man of science and student of the science, I do feel that we should look towards this today's national webinar from two forefronts. Obviously, both these names, they are included in the title itself, but they do carry a separate value and weightage. Obviously, the first component is the research. Dear friends, the research obviously is a component which gives us a data, which just gives us an information and for that purpose, selection of a hypothesis, it stands for. And because of that, I do feel, because I made a statement that in uh, Indian colleges, as far as the commerce is concerned, we are again lagging behind what is happening in the world. Because we are, very few of us are collecting the original data, we are collecting interaction of the socio-economic background and for that purpose what we are lagging behind is the failure of our promises the failure of our outcomes and the failure of our policies now our policies are too good obviously our background is also very strong and solid but unfortunately as far as the outcome is concerned we are lagging behind and this lagging behind is far in the backstage. And this is simply because we have not clearly defined what is meant by research. So obviously, as far as the research is concerned, we are still believing in for a continuous successive succession of data, which may give us a relationship. So because of that, obviously, when we are supposed to be in the forefront of the world at the global level, then we have to take care now, obviously, the data which is being supplied to us in the form of a sampling, it should be original and based on the original hypothesis. So that is the first component. And secondly, obviously, it is very equally important, and that is the methodology. Dear friends, again, let me tell you one thing, that still today we are lagging behind in analyzing and interpreting the data. So we are not following the proper methodology, how to use this data, how to analyze this data, and obviously, most of the data which is generated in Indian environment, it is being tested and calibrated with the data which is available at the global level. But let me tell you one thing, in India, as we are having a democratic nation, we are going ahead with our own impetus. Definitely, we are having our own yardstick. And because of that, as far as the comparison is concerned, it is not possible many of the times to get the correct results. If at all, we are analyzing and comparing our data or the results with the others one. 
So obviously, what is expected, what is needed in the 21st century for the India to become a superpower is that we have to go ahead with the genesis of our new methodology. And when we are going with this new methodology or pedagogy to generate the new impetus for that purpose, obviously, we have to take a major strong tool in our hands. And what is that tool? Obviously, we have to take the help of logistics. We have to take help of the data analysis. We have to take help of the statistics and then only we have to go ahead. Let me tell you one thing in foreign countries, especially in European countries and America in Canada and so forth. Dear friends, they have generated the artificial intelligence simply because they are not having the brains with them. Fortunately, in India, we are having and we have crossed almost 140 crores of population and we are having the indigenous brains with us. And so it is not necessary for us to go ahead with the AI technology. Obviously, why we should create the AI? Because when the original brain is not available, to work on our behalf. But dear friends, let me assure you that yes, you people are genius. The delegates which are associated with this today's national seminar, I'm very much sure that by intellectual level, by IV and EV, they are much more superior than AV. And so for that purpose, what I feel that the data which is generated has to be analyzed using the Indian environment in the phone port. And when we are analyzing the data, a task should be taken and the task should be taken on that why we have failed. Many of the times we are going on hypothetical hypothesis and we are taking on the case studies, but ultimately we are never taking a research on the failures. Remember, the failure is much more higher than the success. And when we analyze the failure, definitely we can chocklist or we can come ahead with a pioneering work and that pioneering work will be do's and don'ts. And if at all we have a clear cut pathway, which can be a benchmark for the further research, I'm very much sure that in this front also, particularly in the economics, commerce, trading, and obviously the management will be again leading ahead. Now, let me tell you one threat. In many of the times in papers in last almost 10 years, we are reading the news of bankruptcy. We are reading the news of corruption. We are re reading the news of frauds. Dear friend, this is simply happening because what we have not analyzed the outcome. We have not analyzed our failures. If at all we would have analyzed the failures, we have seen the gaps in the whole methodology, in whole pedagogy, and in the whole protocol procedure. And then definitely we should have come out with a strong solution. Unfortunately, what has happened in the past, we can't correct it. But definitely we can correct the future, we can correct the present. And for that purpose, I feel that such a type of national webinar with a giant responsible valuable personality who is a re really having his own ideas, own concepts in this field with his almost last 40 years of research and application uh, in Indian environment. And so I feel that to guide you, to motivate you and to give you the new benchmark roadmap, the Dr. Sanjay Kaptan is the right person which has been chosen as the resource person. I welcome him on the behalf of the institution. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And we too are eager to listen to him, to hear to him and to have new ideas, new concepts from him to go ahead with. And so I wish all the best success, better success to this national components. And by taking this opportunity, I declare that this national webinar is now open and I request the organizers to go ahead with. Wish you all the best. We should have a great time. Thank you, sir, for giving me an opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for enlightening us. I would like to invite respected Dr. Niranjan Shah, sir, to propose a vote of thanks. Thank you, madam. Good morning to one and all, respected dignitaries, eminent resource persons, participants from various colleges across India, faculty members, and my dear friends. I, Dr. Niranjan Shah, feel very honored and privileged to get an opportunity to propose vote of thanks 
on this occasion. I, on behalf of Tujaram Chuturchan College of Arts, Science and Commerce, Baramati, Department of Commerce, and on my own behalf, convey deep regards and thanks to our source of inspiration, mentor, and pillar of the institution, principal, and the convener of the conference, Dr. Chandrasekhar Gurumkar sir, for gracing the inaugural ceremony and deliver a principal address on research methodology in commerce management and social sciences. I also express deep regards and thanks to Dr. Ajit Telvesar, Vice Principal and RUSA Coordinator for their valuable guidance. I also express thanks to all the principals for their valuable guidance. I extend my deep regards and thanks to Sri Abhinandan Shah, Registrar for his kind support and cooperation. I also wish to express vote of thanks of all the participants from different colleges. I deeply express thanks to Dr. Janardhan Pawar, co-convener and head department of commerce, and Professor Vivek Bade, organizing secretary, for giving me an opportunity. And also thanks to all my colleagues and supporters. And last but not the least, I also express thanks to all PG students participated in the conference. Once again, thank you all very much. Over to you, madam. Thank you so much, sir. Now we are moving towards our first session. I would like to call Professor Dinesh Gore, sir, to give introduction of today's research person of the first session, Dr. S. S. Kaptan, sir. Good morning. To introduce first speaker, Dr. Sanjay Kaptan, sir. Uh, Dr. Sanjay Kaptan, sir, is a former head of Department of Commerce, Savitri Bhai Phule Pune Universities. He also chair professor of DS Savarkar Chairs of Banking. Uh, Dr. Kaptan, sir, has worked on the various important positions like director of Department of Business Administration, Amravati University, professor of Department of Commerce, SNDT Women University, Mumbai. Sir, has a play as a work director of Janki Devi Bajaj Institute of Business Management, Mumbai. Sir has more than 35 years of teaching experience in different sectors. Sir has an authorized of several books. Sir has write a different books in the like of management, marketing, finance, banking, and another commerce. Dr. Kaptan sir has written five volumes of Encyclopedia of Commerce. Uh, sir has delivered the lectures on the vast channels also. Sir has published more than the 35 research papers in reputed journals or uh, reputed articles at national and international levels. Sir also got the best state teacher awards from the state of government of Maharashtra. Sir also got the best teacher awards of SNDT Women University. Uh, SPPU Savitri Bhai Pule Pune University has honors to him. Also, sir has awards to as an innovative teachers. Sir has got the four awards for outstanding contributions for literature of the state government of Maharashtra. Uh, that is a very famous uh, resource person should be uh, guidelines to us. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. I request Kaptan sir to take the charge. Okay. First of all, uh, am I audible? First thing. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes sir. Please mute your mobile phone so there will not be any, any echo and no disturbance will occur. So I start my presentation. But before I commence the presentation, first of all, I thank Honorable Principal PC Bora College, who has very rightly given a important message and eye opener. I also thank the organizers, including my friend and colleague, Dr. Janardhan Pawar, Madam Borauki, Dr. Shah, and all other faculty members of the institution, as well as the participants, for allowing me to express my views on the topic, searching for research topic. Before I start, let me say that the most important weapon today 
the most important and dynamic concept today is idea it is the idea that changes everything that brings in new innovations that adds to inventions that adds to various concepts and theories and therefore if at all a country a society an institution wants to grow it must cultivate a culture of developing new ideas some new ideas are presented in a different way that is the existing or old ideas are provided with new dimensions and in many ways we have different approaches to thinking these are all the ways to encourage research just we shall have some simple examples to prove my point the example of connectivity even today i faced a problem when we had in in the morning there was no connectivity i had have big problem as to how to communicate my ideas to you because when we are at a distant place place or we, when we are not gathered on a one platform in a hall or in on a in a particular institution without connectivity i cannot communicate to you but this idea of connectivity has changed the world of communication in many ways just think of telephones and mobiles this is how the telephone has grown one simple idea of connecting two persons for communicating interacting discussing and do everything which is possible through oral communication let us thank graham bell who started with a such a simple instrument and in a just span of 100 years how telephone it itself has changed along with its application utility and in many ways its impact on the society however if we think of mobile phones you will understand this point better it was all in 1997 or 96 that people were familiar with the idea of mobile phone on a larger scale when htc was established in taiwan very next year htc became a very important system an institution to develop mobile phones within 10 years world first touch centric smartphone came into existence another mm -hmm. five years and we had world's first metal body smartphone please do not disturb and within 3 years and again in 2016 we have developed virtual reality beyond imagination by 2018 we are having based on the mobile phones which we call smartphones today and it is not an end in itself but the journey will still continue are there nahi kiro sir join karo yahan kya behad aa raha hai please please if you if you want to speak then i will have to stop the presentation wo humra kaale bol raha tha teacher mat acche kaale sir can i request the admin to mute everyone so that you know everybody who joins in in between will not be able to disturb the admin has the rights to do certain changes can the admin take charge and you know only keep the speaker on and rest of the things can be automatically muted please thank you please help me please help me so that i can speak in a fluent and in a very rightful manner so where from the ideas come we get ideas from different sources when we read a book when we review a concept when we think of a new idea a new way of thinking a new innovation a new device or even a new approach to solve a problem and when we interact with people we immediately get hundreds of ideas because our way of thinking is broadened we have a greater and rightful understanding of the world around us our horizon of thinking enhances that is how we really work so there are eight simple rules for developing new ideas just keep this in mind ask a question is it unusual and you will find sometimes some good ideas definitely are unusual that make a landmark change that bring a landmark change another simple question that we should ask does it impact many people yes if at all an idea is a way a device a concept that helps large number of people then naturally it has a larger impact on the society or people around us so it becomes a very important invention or a change are prominent people involved just try to understand whenever i challenge a theory 
whenever i establish a new theorem whenever i offer a new approach to solve a problem existing ideas are automatically challenged that are developed by many scientists thinkers philosophers and what not another important thing is is it timely just think of mobile phone and you will understand what i mean by a timely idea and it is about conflict and contradictions many times new ideas come which not only change the thinking but they challenge the existing thinking think of mr galileo and you will understand this think of mr copernicus think of kepler they all changed the world for which they sacrificed their lives but they had a conflict with existing wrong beliefs and the new ideas that they promoted sometimes a particular idea has a local application solve regional or local or problems of the people just around us sometimes it has a universal application so the question is is it local or universal sometimes a question so many times ideas are not useful when they are developed i will give a simple example when the heavy water was developed it was 1890 people question what is the advantage of this concept this particular thing heavy water but when we started thinking of atomic weapons immediately the importance of the idea was rightly visualized is it innovative of course every new idea has a innovative dimension and sometimes it is breakthrough many th many things are changed think of iot today and you will understand how it has changed our all ways of living tomorrow just after within 7 6 7 months we shall be having 5g network and 5g system of internet connectivity what is going to happen it will be beyond your understanding and imagination today but when it will come to reality in india you will find it is it has brought a breakthrough change in the entire social economic and technological systems in our country so this is how ideas are developed almost for last so many years right from second century till this date from paper it is a small ordinary thing for us but imagine when for the first time paper was introduced in the world how it changed compass it changed the whole concept of travel in the sea printing press it changed the mindset and ideologies steam engine it has just changed the concept of transportation telephone internet is it is a interpersonal communication a great device phonograph entertain world world of entertainment has changed electricity light has brought light to us in true sense and airplanes has just made geography a history computers of course now without computers there is nothing and of course the last but not the least is www web what a great change every time every time they have changed the world and they have brought us something new that is what exactly is the importance of research in developing new ideas so how to tap new ideas or good ideas first search that is the basic thing second screen and third apply i will explain all these points one by one many times people read one particular book they are fascinated they are impressed they are engrossed and then they start questioning are yaar what is this what a great idea what a new way of writing what a new style of presenting the things let me give an example of a one great lady author ayn rand when she started writing her novels like fountain head and atlas shrugged the whole world was surprised with the manner in which she presented her ideas it was not only fascinating it has a great impact but then she very rightly said do not analyze and criticize my books by using old methods of criticism this is something new and people admitted it screening ideas often come in from various ways but many of the ideas are wild most of them sometimes are not rightly can cannot be rightly implemented they are having they do not have a practical dimension there is a great degree of impracticability so naturally we screen these ideas find out what are the ideas that are practical feasible and visible and of course viable then we undertake experiments evaluate the ideas and most appropriate ideas that can be rightly applied are selected then we apply the ideas in a particular context and that is how an innovation the process of innovation or research is usually completed how a book can change the history as i have just said in the last slide i will give only one example of helen of troy and henrik schliemann i hope you all are familiar with the name helen of troy the queen who was who eloped with paris and because of it the very famous trojan war take took place the trojan war was presumed to be a fictional story 
it was considered as imagination of a great poet homer but then there was a great degree of reality henrik schliemann when read this book homer's iliad and helen of troy he found that the the imagination is definitely there but there is a great degree of reality and so he decided to make a search for the city of troy he devoted 20 years of time found out seven different troy cities beneath the sea and finally he got lot of gold ornaments and articles and artifacts there is a museum in berlin in honor of mr henrik schliemann titled henrik schliemann's museum of helen of troy thousands of artifacts one man one idea one search and great change it changed the history so what is research research is evaluation of an idea with a specific purpose in a given context for a specific class of users having a specific requirements and which has a great degree of utility to solve a particular problem in a given situation we all are familiar with thousands of examples where one particular research has helped to solve our problems in a specific environmental context has helped a specific user class maybe military maybe government just i will give one example of e governance today because of direct cash benefit transfer a student has no has no reason to wait for receiving his money when the scholarships are allotted in my days when i was a student it used to take two or three years time but now in a sec, fraction of second with a click it is deposited to the student's account user class requirement that is how innovation really works and utility situations whenever a difficulty is there we do not think of difficulty we immediately start thinking of solutions that is why it is very rightly said necessity is the mother of invention that is how the process of research takes place so what are the qualities of a good researcher the word researcher itself explains the qualities of good researcher first research oriented second efficient third scientific fourth effective five active resourceful for r c for creative h for honest e for economical and r for religious many of you may not agree with my classification of researcher on these parameters or some of you may add something more or even delete i do i fully agree with your approaches i do not want to argue on this but this is how a researcher is definitely scientific having a scientific mindset is certainly effective in no case a research, there can be a good researcher who is not creative and who is not honest so naturally a researcher must possess some of these qualities this is how great inventors and innovators and researchers have changed the world johans gutenberg has invented printing press and has changed the world people no longer believe in anyone's words they verify it benjamin franklin the lightning lord has saved thousands of lives and thomas edison has given a light to the world graham bell has connected the world and of course there are many but one more tim burns lee from the very famous lab of switzerland has invented www today steve job is of course an ideal for many for inventing iphone so what is the significance of research research adds to our knowledge no society no country no institution no nation can grow without having sufficient original contribution of to knowledge research helps to solve problems of a particular target population just think of dr mahmud yunus and microfinance and you will understand this research could improve and bring important ideas which are unknown to us which are foreign to us or which are alien to us there are many theories in economics in social sciences psychology just think of sigmund freud and you will understand the importance of psychoanalysis research could be important for the people other than the field in which the research is done please try to understand dr einstein invented the theory of relativity for physics but today we are having the same concept even in social sciences but remember to become a good researcher you should keep certain things in mind one cannot be a good researcher if he cannot comprehend a topic that is if you really want to become a good researcher you should know what kind of research you want to do 
it should reflect your own understanding that is very important how i perceive a topic what is my perception what is my understanding how i comprehend the ideas that will decide what kind of quality of researcher i shall be independent judgment that is very essential a researcher never depends for opinions ideas views on others he finds out his own way of thinking he develops his own way of understanding explaining solving a critical problem and because of which he must possess right and sufficient quality of analysis synthesis and diagnosis of a particular phenomena this is possible for every researcher but if he is not a good reader he cannot be a good researcher if he is not a horatius reader he cannot be a good researcher if he cannot understand what he has read he cannot be a good researcher and if he cannot interpret what he has read certainly he cannot be a good researcher and therefore we must understand this my friend many of you may have a doubt about one particular concept then what is the difference between discovery and invention please try to understand discovery and inventions are not same the the things that are in existence in nature if we know for the first time it is called discovery but the things that are not in existence in the same format in nature that is an invention so naturally a fire is not is a discovery it is not an invention it was there but mobile phone certainly is an invention a good researcher goes for inventions so what a good researcher is as i have told you he is a horatius reader he is a serious thinker he must be a good teacher usually all good teachers are basically good researchers a bad teacher spreads bad or wrong ideas wrong notions he himself cannot interpret the things he confuses himself and he confuses his fellow pe people or pupil and students his disciples a bad teacher is a bad example of a researcher a sincere investigator a person who has a keen interest in investigating something why this the question always follow haunts him only can become a good researcher and a person who can probe please try to understand there are many things around us for which answers are not yet found there is it is not that everything in every field has already been this has already been invented or has been studied there are many still many things that are unanswered but do we have an ability to probe asking a question with a courage why how and what for unless until we have that courage and ability we cannot this man is an right example of a great researcher dr baba saheb ambedkar his reading he was such a horatious reader that he could have rather written n number of books had he not devoted his time only for upliftment of people but at the same time please remember he has read, he has read large number of books his library at rajagruha mumbai dadar is one of the best personal collection of a person and any person can ever think of because of his reading habit because of his ability to understand the things because of his ability to interpret the things we could get the best of the constitution in the world how reading helps a mindset these are some examples this is one example of mr dr padmashri vishnu sridhar vakankar he, he was considered as a great researcher for a very variety of reasons what was the reason before dr vakankar it was believed by almost everyone every historian and archaeologist that the concept of saraswati river is just a myth there was no saraswati river ever in india dr vakankar devoted 40 years of his life and the mystery of saraswati is solved like this you can now see the map which is taken from satellite the images are very clear and of course the old belief that saraswati never existed is now wiped off from the books of history this is what is a great research there are different types of researchers committed professionals occasional multidisciplinary one time and degree hungry people who devote all their life only for the purpose of inventing developing new ideas and searching for something new they are committed dr einstein professionals people who undertake an assignment to understand a particular phenomena solve it and explain the problems behind it and offer right pool solutions are professional researchers there are hundreds of professional researchers working in different laboratories and institutions occasional some people undertake a research because they are having a great curiosity they have a strong urge to find something new but no sooner that urge is satisfied they do no longer continue with research 
multidisciplinary people who want to interact with different disciplines simultaneously study different phenomena and understand them so that an interdisciplinary ideas can be rightly established then there are one time degree hungry people who just undertake a research for the sake of a degree called doctorate and they just forget after receiving the degree they say goodbye research they are never ready to undertake even a small project of research they do not want even to read a single book these are the people who are worst kind of researchers they cannot be rightly called as researchers so now how to select a topic for research please try to understand See, while selecting a topic of research remember that you should have a defined interest the topic that keeps your interest alive is the best topic for you the topic that makes research work interesting is a good topic the topic because of which wherein you can have a directed set of efforts wherein you can just pinpoint what i want to know how i want to know and concentrate exactly on the same idea with all zeal and energy is a good topic it helps to overcome fatigue and loss of desire want to continue any more i am tired i am not interested because i cannot get desired results no contributes properly that is you develop something new something innovative something of great interest to the society or a particular institution and search for new dimensions is possible many times there are existing theories many theories exist many theories are admitted and they are they become a part of textbook also and they are taught but then suddenly someone questions why this theory is right now whether it is appropriate in the present context whether it has a direct and appropriate relationship with the socio economic milieu and then the question comes if no then why i am teaching this there are hundreds of sociologists who have challenged the old and conventional beliefs in sociology by giving new dimension to the concepts in sociology through research only so what is the topic of research a topic which deals with one core area of study which has a specific research dimension it is properly and well defined in nature it decides the scope of the study that is it will not go beyond that is the scope is limited means the inquiry its depth its approach and its direction is defined in a specific way it deals with a certain thematic aspect and it has a limit of universe and sample that i will explain later on because the time is yet to come these are the examples of two great researchers who are credited with many things the first is dr mary curie when she decided to go for research in chemistry she was denied saying that women are not good scientists and a woman cannot become a good scientist after receiving two nobel prizes she was denied the position of professor in university of paris on one ground she was a woman but please remember who will her who will forget her contribution in the field of chemistry and physics who will think of chemistry without radium how can we think of atomic energy and x rays without her in contribution to the field of science especially physics and chemistry we cannot so what you receive as a reward is not important what is the urge to search is very important this is another example of jane goodall she was not having a formal education she was having many physical limitation but she decided to study chimpanzees and their behavior because of want of formal degrees and education she was denied a opportunity to undertake a research my friends many of you who have undertaken a study in animal behavior environmental sciences or zoology might have studied a particular problem in a zoo or in a laboratory goodall was an exception she went to africa kenya tanganyika stayed there for 18 years to study the behavior of chimpanzees and when she came out with her original findings national geographic said one of the best researchers of the century is jane goodall i have a sense of pride to say that i have written biographies of both these great women so what are the characteristics of good topics first it is interesting that is the researcher feels that i must undertake an inquiry in this particular topic it is researchable that is the topics which are worn out old uh, cannot become the topics of good research there is no fashion of wearing old hats they are significant in the sense that study in that particular area will contribute something new will give a new direction will add to the 
knowledge of that particular discipline and in a way it will give credit to the person saying that he has invented something new they are manageable that is with the available skill talent labor and potentials a person should be able to undertake that research otherwise if he takes a topic which is beyond his capacity and capabilities he will never be able to pursue the research properly and of course nowadays a new dimension is added a good topic must be ethical in nature that is it should not harm in any way to any social segment it should not harm to nature it should not harm to ecology or environment it should not harm to the lives of people in any way that is a good research have you ever tried this question why a phenomena fails and you will undertake a good research question why an organization fails and you will undertake a good research just now our honorable principal has said we should study failures it is on this point he wanted to focus why a product is successful and why a leader is effective questions like these do not have a direct and simple answer all these questions need intensive and in depth study or research these are the examples to prove my point whenever a person reads a new book he gets new ideas whenever you walk for a long time all alone listening to a song or thinking about an idea when you visit a new place you automatically get new ideas and whenever you visit a new situation which you have never imagined you come in troubles you fall in problems you never stop you solve the problem the manner in which every person tries to solve a problem immediately he identifies a new way of solving the problem which itself which in itself is a good research this is a good example to prove my point i have already talked about henrik schliemann but this is another man sir richard f burton you should be rather you should feel proud of this man he was a ordinary employee in east india company when he came to india mumbai and it was 1832 when he came to mumbai he found his job very much monotonous so he decided to utilize his time in a very appropriate manner so he decided to study marathi within 2 years he wrote grammar of marathi language after that he studied sindhi and gujarati and he walked from mumbai to karachi on foot to understand the culture of gujaratis and sindhis and came an outstanding book the culture lifestyle of gujaratis and sindhis and western indian civilization he, he went on foot from india to iran from iran to baghdad from baghdad he has gone to the place the holy place makkah where foreigners are not permitted non muslims are not allowed but looking at his attire and his knowledge of arabic everyone felt that he was a great arabic and so then he wrote culture of arabia he wrote culture how, how, cultural practices values and norms of arabian behavior to the top of it he has written a classic book the arabian nights the translation he invented blue nile and what not one of the greatest researcher known in social sciences so how good researchers how good research changes our perception there are three ways of looking at good research the most simple is a this disruptive research whenever we develop a new product whenever we develop a new marketing channel whenever we create a product according to demand of customers and we re replace it with old product it is a disruptive re research then there is a breakthrough that is a total radical change in a particular system in a particular institution in a particular uh, way of doing the things or even in a particular theory very simple e governance now you can have a shop where or you can visit a shop or a place where you can go easily where a surfing station is available and you can download your birth certificate you can get your caste certificate you can get many other certificates and other documents without visiting a government organization this is a breakthrough and game changing total transformation the idea of financial inclusion jandhan bank is a game changing thing the idea of digital india is a game changing thing please try to understand all such ideas which change the society transform the people develop new approach of thinking are good researches so there are different types of innovations first is technological innovations like drones product innovations like flying cars 
process innovations like kaizen financial innovations like startup units and venture capital cultural innovations like bpo and kpo if you go through the history of advancement of technology right from 1400 that is the period of cultural revolution in europe called as renaissance till this day you will find the pace and the speed of change technological change is very fast the graph shown here is always upward and flying high so people who definitely go for new ideas are right like aristotle galileo or anderson now what is a good search for good topic first of all you please should you should have a crystal clear idea about the topic in which you want to undertake a research many times a researcher who is the first time researcher often is not having a very clear and complete idea holistic idea as to what he wants to do what he wants to study so what happens he starts a study and gradually then he realizes are these points are not included or these points should have been included or these points are irrelevant and then he this confusion results into fatigue and failure purpose you please do not undertake a research just because you want to become a good researcher have some purpose have some objective as to why i want to study this when the objective or purpose is strong the research becomes good systematic never go in a haphazard manner never go in a weird style first understand read think develop your ideas and then go for research define it properly find out what new can be done and most important go beyond conventional thinking people who go beyond conventional thinking usually find out good topics become good researchers and develop right kind of research ideas so what is a systematic search to have a quick access to a suitable research problem to avoid waste of resources to decide what is a suitable and tentative topic of research about which i shall be discussing later on to avoid any likely duplication which is also very important which also which also i shall explain and to take an existing inquiry ahead remember this is a process research is a process so pro identifying a good research topic also is a process whenever i copy something from someone whenever i borrow some ideas take undertake already studied in some universities and register them in my university saying that no one will ever know this is not only duplication this is not good so what is urge and reality if you really want to do good research develop good time a person who says very little time is available for research cannot become a good researcher a person who doesn't want to read should not undertake any research topic he should not undertake and dwell in research do not want to undergo serious and strenuous work system because research is a long term work it is a extremely strenuous work you might have seen you might have heard about researchers who have devoted 20 30 40 years of their lives just for the cause of one idea and they are successful they are remembered not only because they have done good research because they were they were ready to sacrifice many of the pleasures of their life if at all you expect quick results and no pains then research is not the cup of tea which you should drink so if at all one wants to good research he should think like these great ladies the first is durga bhagwat devoted all her life for studying folk tales folklores and popular culture 50 years of research can anyone imagine iravati karve her understanding of indian sociology and indian social system has brought great change in the whole thinking in india and of course gauri deshpande who translated such a famous book arabian night in 16 volumes in marathi they were having a strong urge they have devoted their life they were ready to undertake a strenuous job and that is why they are good researchers so how to make a search for topic first define the area of inquiry if i know what i want to study then only i can undertake a good inquiry select a specific area because sometimes the area of study may be very large i shall explain this later on but out of that only one dimension you want to study you want to identify the area where research is already conducted then you should not take that avoid any repetition that is again and again i am trying to say that duplication repetition of old ideas existing research registered topics is not a right way of undertaking a doctoral study associate your ideas your own ideas with the topic you want to study sometimes your ideas will be very good very innovative very powerful and no one has ever considered also and integrate these ideas with your interest 
Remember, when interest, ideas, topic, and efforts combine hands, these four things make a good topic. Just a simple example of this. You all have seen rainbow, but how often you have observed rainbow? See, seeing is normal. Observing is different. There is a share in Urdu which says, Nazar sabko hai, nazriya bahut kam logon ko hai. You may have a idea, but you may not have seen the bright side of that idea. You may have a concept, but you may not have seen how innovative, how different that concept is. Rainbow is seen by everyone, but very few scientists can define the reasons of occurrence of a rainbow, can explain why a rainbow has seven different colors, can explain what are the under, sorry, environmental circumstances under which we can see a rainbow. That is how we develop a new topic. So, what is area of research? If uh, I am a student of commerce, so I can explain only about commerce. Kindly forgive me for that. Suppose I want to study marketing. Then marketing is a broad area of research. Then I think of advertising. It is again a, a bit broader area of research because though advertising is a part of marketing, advertising has many connotations and hundreds of dimensions. Then I say consumer behavior of a specific class about a specific product and impact of advertising on consumers regarding product selection. Then this becomes a core area. And then I define my problem. So what is the area of research and topic of research? Please remember area of topic is not Area of research is not topic of research. They are different. Area of research is a broad concept. It deals with totality of the subject. It has many dimensions and many sub-disciplines. It indicates only the general field of interest. When a student says, I am doing research in marketing or finance or organizational behavior or general management or systems or strategic management, he is talking about the broad area. He is not talking about the topic of research. Then what is topic of research? It deals with a core concept. That is one particular concept from that particular broad area, which is very specific, well-defined, which is very core, hits a particular dimension, which is not rightly or completely studied even today, which decides what should be the scope of the study because the title itself is then can be rightly defined. It deals with certain thematic aspect that is this particular theme is selected, such as impact of advertising on society, a very broad topic. But impact of advertising on children, definitely a core topic. It indicates the limits of universe and sample. When I say I want to study this particular topic in Pune city, I automatically define my territorial universe. When I want to say that I want to study the children only from elite class, elite societies or elite class families, then I can, I, I can easily define what is elite class family on the parameters of income, social, economic and cultural structure. And then it becomes a core level study. So how to select a topic of research? That is what is our present day's core aspect of discussion. First, please remember the topic that will keep your interest alive, that will make your research interesting. The topic where you can have directed efforts and where you can never feel that I'm tired of doing this. I have a number of such my friends and colleagues who have started their research have devoted two or three years of time and then they came to a conclusion data is not available sorry i do not want to continue sometimes they have said sir no time was available two three years i have started but i could not get sufficient time now i do not feel that i should undertake i should continue with the inquiry so they stop inquiry sometimes they come they encounter with a different problem the guide feels that the topic is useless the student feels that the topic is good conflict and the topic is left research is gone Sometimes people work only with the intention of getting some promotion and by, by just fortune, they get that promotion. Therefore, they do not want to undertake research. These are the reasons which actually indicate how pathetic we are about selection of a topic of research. So when the topic is interesting, when you know the topic, when you know what exactly needs to be done in that particular area of research. When you understand what are the likely implications and when you identify the right contours of the study, please, I will explain this point. Whenever I say I want to study leadership style, I have in my mind two, three specific leadership styles of leaders in a particular organization. Then I identify whether the people who are termed as leaders 
follow which style why they follow that particular style what is the implication of that leadership style on the employee on the work culture on the organizational success or organizational failure this this is possible because i know the contours and i have interest and i know implications ki if i study leadership style i can suggest the organization what kind of training should be given to the top people or to the leaders what kind of attitudinal change can be brought and likewise the old and the simple way of selecting a topic is very easy let me tell you before i forget this first find out a topic in circulation how many people are doing this research then just change the title a little and take that you are successful identify the simple and most easy problem statement the things where no good research is possible usually are the simple topics of research you can identify because it can be easily registered and you get a degree assemble existing facts from different known sources jumble them and arrange them in a specific order in which they were otherwise not are available and say that i have undertaken any research rewrite the old thesis in a new way and still you are successful but please remember my friends you are deceiving yourself here a topic in circulation these are some examples corporate social responsibility i know for sure that in a particular university at least 20 researchers have studied this topic in a same manner in the almost in the same manner and in the same way financial inclusion at least 25 stress management i think it may be around from 50 social communication its impact on different user groups or marketing of fruits and vegetables maybe onion maybe maybe figs maybe potato and what not and even grapes a number of people is it good research still people who are facing the problems of marketing of vegetables their problems are not solved still companies are not performing their corporate social responsibility in an effective way and still the problem of stress management that organizations are facing so far as their employees are concerned are not yet rightly answered then what is the use of this research so what should be the process of selecting a topic identify area of your choice and interest please remember every person every person who wants to become a good researcher will have a different choice will have a different area of interest no one can impose a particular topic saying that this is the topic of your choice no one can say that this is the topic of your interest because i know what i like i understand what i am interested in identify the special area of interest please remember sometimes you may have interest in two three four five topics but still some of them are more close to your heart more close to your brain more close to your perception and understanding identifying that core concept and then go for study you will definitely be a good success and will be a good researcher what is the core concept and how it can be identified please understand the special features of the topic that is very important learn about that those special features from experts please remember there are n number of experts always available it will never be a situation where you will say sir no guidance is available no person is there in this field hardly there is any field now especially in social science and commerce where experts are not available it is our ability to search for right kind of experts that is limited find out those size core features that influence society or a particular discipline whenever i talk of digital marketing i i definitely know what i what is the likely influence of digital marketing on different sections of society on marketers on product promotion so that can definitely become a core area why these core aspects are relevant today please remember every subject is influencing our society in positive as well as negative way sometimes we only look after the positive side of certain particular phenomena and we study that and we say that this is the end of research but no if we start studying the negative areas also you will find something more yet need to be done and what can be the likely implication of the study please remember a good study always have implication on some classes of stakeholders maybe the users maybe the policy makers maybe the government maybe the managers maybe some organizations we cannot say which stakeholder but if you can identify a good class of stakeholders for whom this study is useful then you can definitely make the study research worthy so what is area of research and this topic of research i think i have explained this concept i will now explain parameters of topic selection if you consider these parameters of topic selection i am sure you can definitely select a right type of topic first what is your past experience many times 
this is my small simple experience of working as a teacher that people who come with a topic are absolutely unfamiliar are not having any idea of that topic they do not have any experience in that field they have never even heard of that topic but suddenly they come and they say i want to study this i shall just cite one example one day a person came to me and said that i want to study the impact of fourth industrial revolution on indian industries especially in fabrication sector i asked him a simple question do you really know anything about fourth industrial revolution he said no i do not know but i have heard somewhere this cannot be the way to select a topic formal qualification the person who has not studied operations and production management and knows nothing about factory management if decides to go for studying simulation techniques and their usage in factory management or inventory etc he will be a failure because he has no formal qualification expertise please remember in based on the universities in europe first you have yeah. to go for acquiring experience unless until you are having experience of 2 3 years unless until you understand different core aspects and salient features of that subject rightly unless until you are having hands on experience you are not allowed to go for research unfortunately in our country just after passing a small post graduate examination without having sufficient sub, even conceptual understanding we go for research and that is why our quality of research is very poor insights remember insights come through experience through reading through understanding and through working unless until we have some insights of working in a particular field it becomes difficult to go for a good research reading it is the reading that makes you successful researcher but many times we come across situations people who want to undertake a research in organizational behavior or leadership or strategic management or communication have not even heard the names of five fundamental books working related in that related or associated with that field contemporary issues that is what is the area of research usually but what are contemporary problems some people come out with an area of research like working research on trade unions but to what extent trade unions are relevant today the idea of the old age idea of trade union has almost become irrelevant then why the issues that were valid in 19th century and 20th century are no longer there many new issues have emerged many new issues have taken place and have become prominent then should we not study those contemporary issues and to prove one's own caliber remember caliber is the essence whenever i say i am a professional researcher i possess certain qualities certain traits and certain abilities whenever i say i am a chartered accountant i possess certain caliber and abilities to audit and study accounts whenever i say i am a doctor i know something good about medicines and surgery then whenever i say i am a researcher should should do not have i do not i possess that requisite qualification and abilities is it that researcher is a profession where qualities and abilities are not required where caliber means nothing no actually researcher must have must possess a high quality caliber so uh, the issue is now how it helps how these parameters help one can make a right choice of topic only when these parameters are rightly understood one can use his experience and understanding in selecting a right type of topic one can have a better concentration and attention when the topic is selected because he knows what i want to study and one can face challenges and critical situations please remember research is not a smooth going journey there will be many problems while collecting data while discussing with people while explaining your ideas while interpreting your data you should be ready to face such challenges there are two different approaches to select a topic most in most of the cases a scholar selects his own topic and in certain cases the supervisor or the guide suggests a topic we shall study both these so that we can have a right understanding as to how to top select the topic when a scholar selects his own topic he has great degree of independence he is driven by an urge a desire a strong motive to study that particular topic he has a ambition which he can satisfy by studying that particular topic he has a keen interest in that subject and therefore he studies that topic he knows what are the limitations of that topic and therefore he can study it properly in, a, in at a right depth in a right way in a right manner 
he understands what are the specific needs of that topic and accordingly he develop his skills and ability yeah. and he is responsible for his own success or failure that is the researcher knows if i cannot do this i will fail or if i can perform this i will be successful on the contrary there is a second approach a topic can be given by the guide when the topic is given by the guide the guide knows what kind kind of guidance is required a proper guidance is possible but because the guide has a previous experience also of working in that area the guide also possesses a better skill better level of skills and abilities because he has already worked in the field of research hello please do not speak it disturbs me correct i request all the participants to unmute uh, mute themselves rukmini more sir please continue sir please continue sorry then commonality of interest because the guide can help the student to select an appropriate topic because of which the student and the guide the scholar and the guide can have a commonality of interest guide has a better understanding because he has already read many things about it and because of all these factors the chances of success when a topic is given by guide are more than when the topic is selected by the scholar but then when the guide selects topic for you there are certain limitations also he may ask you to continue with the new old ideas he may not give you a new idea because he is familiar with the existing ideas only sometimes there is an approach called as father is always right that is guide will not accept anything new that the scholar says guide will not accept or will will not like any challenge posed by the student by the scholar guide will always like the student to follow the instructions and do nothing without instructions he never likes any counter argument he never use and he never allows the scholar to use his brain on the contrary he says do as i say these are the possible i am not saying these are the ways but these are the possible limitations when a topic is given by the guide what is the importance of problem selection now when the problem is rightly selected it tells you what and how the inquiry can be conducted it reduces difficulty in the future course of time like like review of literature concept building collection of data development of instruments analysis of data all the problems can be greatly minimized it helps to concentrate your efforts only in a specific direction because of which you can develop a great degree of clarity and problem formulation becomes simple you are a the scholar is objectively driven and therefore he can work effectively efficiently and sometimes he can come across many new novelties of the topic the beauty of the topic and he can explain it better when the problem selection is right it helps the researcher to retain interest please remember 80% of the students leave doctoral course just because they lose their interest in topic selection in the topic that is selected by them it helps to maintain the right track that is you will not collect unnecessary data you will not communicate with people who are not interested in your topic you will not collect or in visit to institutions where you will not get meaningful data it will always energize you and it will reduce your stress so this is how a right selection of problem is of great help to the researcher so what are the characteristic of a good research problem rightly selected research problem it is always correct it is extremely focused that is what a researcher wants to study is known to him it is objective that is he will not be biased he will not be having any prejudices about a particular presumption or idea a researcher who comes with pre concluded ideas never goes for research rather he tries to fix those ideas in the given framework and he never contributes anything new wherever the topic is new original ideas are automatically encouraged and the research becomes convincing to the people to the readers to the society it satisfies requirements of certain select stakeholders also there are certain misconceptions about topic selection which i have come across during my a small experience as a guide teacher the first misconception every topic that a researcher selects must be fundamental my my dear friends one in a million only can go for a fundamental research i am again repeat one in a million fundamental research is not that common it is not that easy second thing a research problem must result into new inventions not necessarily my friends how many people can really go for new inventions very few every research must contribute new discipline to new disciplines impossible really trying to oh my god 
बिजनेस हेलो प्लीज स्टॉप दिस लेडी ओके सर ओके एवरी रिसर्च इज रिसर्च इज ऑर्गेनाइज uh is recognized by and cons- uh, by all concern no you will not get recognition in every case a research is always a basic inquiry this also is not oh, and a research is a basic fact finding mission that also is not true please remember these are the concepts that we go through or that we accept or that we carry with us because of various types of lectures and books about research methodology that we read but remember these books are written with a standard it is a standard motive these books are written to motivate the people that doesn't mean everything must come true many times student go to the guide teachers and request them to suggest a good research topic this is it, it is how the journey starts like this sir lend me your idea that is the teacher should suggest an idea of course the teacher suggests the ideas because he feels that the researcher is keenly interested then the second step sir lend me your thoughts that is how this idea can be conducted again a great degree of dependence then lend me the skill sets sir tell me how to do this how to write or how to prepare instruments of research how to develop instruments then lend me your abilities how should i analyze this and then complete my work my friends this is a wrong approach this is not the way a good researcher is ever developed have you ever tried this test your own ideas in an open environment and you will find you can be, you can become a good researcher test your knowledge about a particular subject and you can develop new ideas test your abilities and you can w- develop new ways of doing the research examine the relevance of your thoughts automatically you will come to know what are the limitations of your thinking so how to check appropriateness of the research problem whenever you go for it first discuss with the people remember whenever you discuss a topic with your friends colleagues teachers you automatically understand its limitations you automatically understand its benefits and its new dimensions you compare with existing trends and you will know whether the topic is contemporary or not you find out what are the contemporary issues then you will find out new dimensions of your thinking and if you think in terms of what are the likely inputs that i have to add you will know whether you have abilities or not decide the scope through micro and macro level analysis that is what is the broader perspective and what is the core level perspective this is a very simple example which will prove my point the problem of sugar cooperatives in maharashtra if i am not wrong not less than 50 researchers have studied this problem in this and many other universities this is too much of research too many times of a research different registrations in all the universities with the same topic names of the scholars and guides have changed but no new thing has been found out and very pra- little practical relevance is observed through this research the problems of sugar cooperatives never were solved why it has happened so where to look for topic now if at all i want to select a good topic where should i go for please remember study the research work already done that will always help you to know what has already been studied now where i can find it, this out there is one simple source called as university news in university news every week which is published weekly on weekly basis thesis of the month is a column where people their names the topic they have registered the discipline the university is given so that you can know how many people have worked on different topics in a year's time and you can eliminate those topics similarly in university news there is a column research in progress that is how many new people have registered with different topics so you can also know what are the topics that are already registered in a particular discipline or faculty find out new concept and ideas through various journals about which we shall discuss soon find out what are the emerging areas find out ideas and concept that are disregarded please discarded please remember sometimes certain theories and ideas are discarded saying that they are outdated revisit them and you get a new topic ideas and concepts that are not yet accepted sometimes some scientist some theoretician some philosopher some thinker talks of some idea and people do not want to believe in it visit again think of it from a different perspective and you will you may find that this idea has a practical dimension now where to search for research ideas there are different sources formal non formal informal 
hiring of ideas and out of the box thinking we shall discuss this one by one what is the formal source of research a formal source of research topic is a source where you get a defined idea because some concrete material is available the formal sources are libraries corporate houses independent research agencies with their independent research reports and consultancy reports i will give only one example you might have heard the name mckinsey this company is a research consultancy firm from united states of america but works in india also every quarter mckinsey publishes mckinsey mckinsey report review if you go through even one volume you will get at least 10 good research topics in the field of social science management commerce and industry because these are the reports about practical happenings in various industries economy and society in a particular country like india if you visit library you will come across n number of books reference books textbooks research books research or, or edited books and likewise many research agencies publish their reports after the survey or research is completed for the benefit of the society such as mitcon publishes techno economic surveys of various districts in maharashtra and corporate houses also publish their research reports now what to search in library you can search for books reference materials annals and journals annal is a volume of uh, a particular magazine which is published on annual basis reports of government agencies and ministries and national organizations such as ministry of labor ministry of child welfare ministry of finance ministry of defense ministry of internal affairs and likewise newspaper reports such as, such as economic times financial express or business line or business standard publish various types of dossiers these dossiers are very useful to find out a good topic of research then there are irregular reports such as economic times often come across with a special supplement on a particular industry on a particular product on a particular new innovation or new development in the economy such as recently india has gone for two major policy changes one allowing private corporations to manufacture drones and second inviting multinationals and even indian companies to go for large scale manufacturing of semiconductors based on which economic times recently has published two very important supplements what are the likely economic and industrial implications of allowing drones to be manufactured by private companies in india and what will be india's likely future in the drone sector and in industry this always helps you to find out new topics now why what the library says to you please remember library talks to a good reader it ex, it helps him to explore new ideas through new books it helps him to examine his existing beliefs it helps him to extend his existing ideas because he broadens his horizon of thinking and it helps him to explain what he has understood rightly or what he has not understood rightly so these are some examples when you come across new and interesting books what are your reactions what an idea how unique this book is why this book is so interesting how is that the author has explained it in this particular manner can i think on the same lines remember this is a stream of thoughts that comes to you but that makes you a good researcher that helps you to find out a good topic background reading that is what we call in research review of literature usually such a background reading is essential before you select a topic please remember do not select a topic without knowing what the topic is all about for which you have to go for intensive reading when we explore many ideas that will enable you to develop framework of your study background reading should be to clarify your concept about research to conceptualize your research problem to expose to different types of various frameworks related with that particular topic and summarize your research problem so that you can explain what i want to study to your guide teacher you can explain to different audience classes why and how this topic is relevant and important now review of literature is a very important thing which is a part of second phase of research as we feel but remember in my view no researcher should go for research or selection of research topic without proper sufficient and in depth review of literature it gives you an overview and an understanding of the topic it helps you to summarize your ideas conceptualize your ideas and even concretize them as well as develop a right set of ideas it helps you to give suitable topic selection and give right headings to the problems or the problem statement it develops your concepts and methodological framework because you know what the topic is all about so 
a review of literature is not like topping on the cake it is just not a superficial way of understanding the problem it is not a surface coating but it is the inner aspect it is the brain marrow of a particular research topic nowadays library is not the only source we are now in the age of technology so we can use internet very intensively internet doesn't mean one source it is a multiple source of data there are variety of sources we, there are comparable data that is the same topic can be compared with two different sets of data the same th topic studied by two different researchers can also be studied it helps you to innovate new data sources that is the data otherwise not available and create creative use of data also is possible through internet so please my friend remember internet is a great source and there are various sub sources on the internet which a researcher should be able to use very effectively for selection of topic they are wikipedia databases anthologies dedicated websites dedicated search engines and institutional information sources but first we shall understand database what is a database database can be of different types such as companies various types of multinational companies publish their own databases with details of their industry their activities and related issues there are data streams that is a particular topic from different directions and dimensions is studied and combined and presented in a specific manner there are relational databases that is correlating two or more concepts analyzing them and presenting them with a statistical as well as mathematical comparison there are cloud databases that is databases available on internet on, on cloud there are object oriented databases databases for related only with a specific topic and that too with a specific theme there are document databases where research papers findings surveys and reports are document combined and edited in a specific manner and there are time databases that is time bound time uh, periodical analysis of certain events and periodical data of certain events databases for researchers that we can use rather we all are expected to use are scopus web science pubmed eric and iee that is i triple e explore please my friends remember if you are a good student of social science or commerce or industry you should always focus on scopus it is a great source to find out new ideas and new research areas there are some more databases like science discipline directory of open access journal and jstor jstor also is a very good database for social science and commerce and management managerial research similarly directory of open access journal provides you a large number of journals with their abstracts only because usually full text research papers are available in paid format then there are indian databases mungus is a one of the indian database which is very popular which is very useful and which is very exhaustive then ugc has its inflibnet then epw that is economic and Polit political weekly has a research framework india which is also a very good database and inflo info, info librarian is also another good database all these are indian databases which are very useful remember there are academic search engines google scholar is one of the best academic search engine google scholar is a free academic search engine that can be a thought of as the academic version of google it is a very good search engine to find out about a particular idea about a particular paper about a particular theme of research about a particular dimension of a particular research topic there are the there are some famous indian databases about which i must bring to your notice such as rbi database provides a great and exhaustive data about banking financial institutions finance india as well as economic aspects of indian economy there is another database stats india which is about which provides you statistical profiles of different types including industry economy agriculture service sector as well as various other social areas including population and many things even criminology abi inform acknowledge portal is a very good but it is a paid one acmf is related only with mutual fund that is s mutual fund database it tells you about mutual funds economic aspects financial aspects capital markets and even changes in the capital market acm digital library is also one of the good database but again it is a paid database now how to use this database please remember databases are a good guide 
to supplement your ideas and thinking they cannot replace your independent thinking that is you can you should not say that i will not think i will just borrow the ideas from database that is not going to work a database works as a search engine it helps you to select right kind of data which is required for your research purpose which is required to supplement or provide necessary forceful understanding of a particular data it identifies the research area which is meaningful and what are the different aspects or contours of that particular research area it helps you to satisfy your specific requirement regarding statistical data regarding research inputs regarding review of literature also in many cases now how to use online library catalogs this is one more advantageous thing online library catalogs tell you which library has what kind of books research papers research, edited volumes theses etc in many cases these online libraries help you to borrow certain books certain documents on loan basis in certain cases they provide you photographic copies or xerox copies in certain cases they provide you cert complete set of back volumes of certain journals depending upon the nature of the topic they also provide you information regarding author title subject journal name and various standard issn numbers etc you can use this online library service for writing review of literature for quoting references to justify a particular point and of course you should be ready to use this extensively now please remember my friend to become a good researcher to select a good topic you should be able to think independently there is no substitute to thinking you cannot borrow thinking you cannot borrow brain of someone else you should learn on your own you should understand why i think like this why i should study this why i should examine these aspects of a particular topic and should be able to explain others this is how i have done it if a researcher can explain what he has done then only research becomes meaningful and useful so half the success in a good research process depends on independent and clear thinking selecting a research worthy problem developing a comprehensive understanding about that problem cultivating an urge to work independently my friends these are the things which you everyone learns slowly and gradually this cannot come in a day's time this requires good guidance this requires a congenial environment this requires a eternal urge and zeal to learn so please select a basic idea then go for a core idea then select a specific idea this is the process of selecting a right research topic the first step is key that is called as key step define the problem area and identify various facets of that problem then we formulate the research that is define the research problem area and then we give a select suitable frame of reference that is area territory population size sample size period etc then we finalize the research topic that is we define the problem in a scientific manner and then we prepare the draft proposal that is statement draft to become a good researcher and to select a good topic we must have we must take into account certain personal considerations such as our ability our competence and aptitude these are the three basic things your approach to study the problem your access to information and availability of information are also very sub, sub useful but supplementary things and approval of the guide or university so uh, availability of suitable guidance and availability of resources though essential but not primary things so please remember you can always become a good researcher you can always find out a good topic but you cannot become expert in one step no one can gain insights about any topic without efforts you must first acquire essential skills to become a good researcher we you should practice and you should be proactive to to understand and follow the guidelines please remember there is nothing like vision but remember it is only experience that gives you vision so study read for a long period and then you can become a good researcher i am very thankful to you for listening listening to me i am sure you will get good ideas you will conduct good research whenever you are ready to take a good research topic i wish you luck thank you very much thank you sir if uh, participants have any questions they can drop their questions in the chat box or ask directly is there any question from participant
yes madam you want to ask me a question hello you want to ask me a question please ask I think that there are no questions, so I thank you. Yes, sir. And I conclude. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Sir, I have one suggestion. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. You are audible, please. Yeah, I have one suggestion. So, sir, sir has gone through a very good uh, knowledge and methodology to become a good researcher from a scratch, and uh, he suggested many sources of information, primary, uh, the, uh, secondary, so that we can able to get it through. Uh, one of my experience that we have one uh, 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 app called Academics. So, if you uh, if you, if somebody wanted to have the access from the academics now they can uh, related topics they can put it in the academics and academics will start sending you although all those pdfs which are related so that is a suggestion from my side thank you very much thank you sir yeah. Madam, can I ask a question? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, this is Dr. Vinodini from uh, Hyderabad. Uh, my question is, uh, uh, the review of literature is being studied uh, for three important aspects. Uh, uh, that is, one is to support our uh, idea the topic second one is to identify a gap from the review and third one is the combination of three uh, could you throw some light on this sir? Hello. Hello. Uh, sir, actually, this is a question for you. Dr. Kaptan, sir, are you there? Kaptan, sir, are you there? Dr. Kaptan, sir, are you there? Can you hear me? He left, sir. Okay, uh, I think Madam Sir has uh, left from the meeting. No problem, I'll convey you to the sir and uh, definitely will come okay. up. Okay, oh, thanks, sir. No, no issue, Madam. Okay. Madam, uh, okay. go for it. Thanks. Thanks. For today's first session, I would like to thank our resource person, Dr. S.S. Kaptan Sir, for enlightening us with his knowledge. Today's session was full of knowledge and interesting facts. It gave deep insights into topic. The point where he told us about the selecting research topic in a simple way was really informative. I'm pretty sure that precious knowledge that he gave us will definitely help us in our studies, research, and in future too. Once again, I would like to thank Dr. S.S. Kaptan sir for taking out time from his busy schedule and guiding us. I would also like to thank our principal, Dr. Chandrasekhar Murumkar sir, for giving us a permission to organize this webinar and inviting Dr. S.S. Kaptan sir to conduct it. I would like to thank the staff members who worked really hard to make this session successful. Also, thank you all the participants present over here for paying their attention and learning. I would like to conclude my speech here. Thank you. Uh, once again, uh, 
can you hear me all of you okay uh, with the permission of conveyor i declare first session is over now we will have a lunch break from 135 pm to 25 130 okay 130 and second session will start from 135 all the participants are requested to join the session 10 minutes before the scheduled time please so join for the second session at yes. 135 pm participant you all are requested to join session at 130 sharp because um, we are having a more interesting session on data analysis so please be there at 130 sharp this is our request and this another session is also going to highlight you about uh, you know data analysis and tools and techniques of data analysis so for this we have invited one renowned person from the field of data analysis so please be there at 130 sharp so with this we are concluding here the first session and we'll be back at uh, 130 sharp till then you go for the lunch and after that enjoy one more session thank you very much sure sir thank you sir thank you bye -bye. thank you sir thank you bye, -bye. Thank you, sir. Great session you have done. Welcome, sir. Welcome. कौन कवर कर रही है